Hello, everybody. I wanted to share with you a neat little hack that I found today uh, while perusing through Twitter. Uh, this was posted by Tom Mullaney. Uh, you can find him on Twitter at Tom E. Mullaney on Twitter. And one of the things that he showed was how to uh, add to our Google Classrooms, especially our topics, with emojis. We all know our kids love to insert emojis into their daily lives. Uh, so for us to be able to insert these emojis into our daily practice of posting on Google Classroom, I think, is a really good treat for our students. Uh, the tip that Tom showed us was he went to a website called getemoji.com. And on getemoji.com, there are tons of different emojis from all the different kinds of uh, OSs out there, Android, Mac, um, uh, iOS, all of them that are out there. And all you would have to do is search for the particular topic that you're trying to cover. For an example, if I wanted to add an emoji to my back channel, I might want to add a chat emoji. So what I would simply do is search for chat and see what comes up. And that speech balloon looks like pretty, it's a pretty good option. Uh, so it shows me the speech balloon. I'm going to hit copy. It copies it. And then all I do now is go to my back channel. I click on rename and right at the front, all I do is paste in my emoji. And once I rename it, it goes right up to the top and it should add my emoji right to the top, right next to it. You could add multiple emojis if you want, but what this does is it cre creates a great visual for what that um, topic is going to be covering. Um, again, here we have a topic for eBinder. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to type in binder. I'm going to go ahead and search for it. Here's a little ledger right here. That looks like it would work. I'm going to go ahead and select copy and notice there are all the different ledgers or binders that you would find for the various emojis that are out there. I'm going to go ahead and go back to my topic. I'm going to click rename, go right in front of my binder and I'm going to hit paste. That erased that. So let me just put this back in here and go ahead and select rename. It'll go in there and right in front of that e binder, it will place that emoji right out front. Really creates a great visual for our students and really spices up that Google Classroom with some visuals that our students would like. Thank you for listening. And Tom, thank you so much for that post on Twitter. Until we meet again, thank you so much and keep on innovating.